At 4 o'clock, the tide at Kitsilano Beach retreats, revealing what survived the devastating heat and what didn't. This time last year, this was covered in seaweeds and then the mussel bed was down here and some of those mussels did make it through. Marine biologist Chris Harley among the first to warn of a mass die off on BC's shores. If you walk down here at the height of the heat dome in Vancouver last summer when temperatures were above 40 degrees Celsius, you could smell the stench of billions of sea creatures cooking to death inside their shells. Ten months later, it's time to find out what is coming back and what isn't. The before and after pictures are stark. There are some reasons for optimism. Seeing the, the wee little juvenile animals coming in is a good sign, but the system has been disrupted. So that sort of cool, wet seaweed blanket that would protect them on a hot day is not here right now. Yeah, so this is the fun. Creatures like crabs that scuttled to shade fared better than the shellfish attached to south-facing rocks. They're coming back, but another heat wave could be catastrophic. Mussels and barnacles are important filters, right? They filter out a lot of the gunk in the water. What would False Creek look like if we lost those filters? Uh, there are questions that we hadn't even thought to ask prior to last summer because we weren't expecting this sort of thing to happen this quickly. The effects of climate change on the oceans not isolated to the beach Beaches. UBC's William Chung analyzed 340 menus from Vancouver restaurants from 1880 to 2021 to see how the changing climate is affecting the seafood we eat. And we find a, a significant uh, increase in the temperature of the seafood that uh, the restaurants are serving since the 1980s. And one of the uh, interesting things is that uh, that increase uh, relates uh, closely to the changes in uh, uh, seawater temperature. Chung says you can expect to see less sockeye salmon on menus and more warm water species like Humboldt squid, sardines and oysters. I expect in another 5, 10, 15 years, this is going to be, instead of a mussel-dominated shore with some of the you know plants and animals we're used to, it's going to be more of an oyster-dominated shore. And it might actually look like subtropical parts of, of East Asia at that point. We'll, we'll see. The sights, smells, and tastes of a summer on BC's coast changing in front of our eyes. Michelle Gassoub, CBC News, Vancouver.